I have become the best known sport flooring contractor in the world, and I'm just getting started. Hello, my name is Paul Nelson. I'm the sales manager, the operations manager for Western Sport Floors, Wyoming Wood Floors. This is going to be the Zender Finish Barrel number two, because we have some new modifications to this finish barrel to make it even better. So we'd love to share them with you. I did finish barrel number one on vacation. I spent four interminable days camping, but now I'm back doing what we love, talking about gym floors. The Zender finish barrel has absolutely changed the way we do finish. And the level of results that we've gotten compared to taking a bucket and trying to dump it on the floor I absolutely cannot be overstated. This is Mr. Neil Hayes. He's our production manager. He's the guy that gets his hands dirty and actually does the work most of the time and supervises our other folks who are doing the work. So Neil, I would like you to talk a little bit about how uh, our, our Zender Barrel number two works and, and could you please show how, how we get it without getting the barrel dirty? Yes, so we got a trash bag. Yes. For, and I realize this is not the best modification, but for a dollar thirty um, to solve multiple problems, including cleaning out the barrel, because if you're going to use this over and over again, back to back across many gyms, which we often do, multiple gyms a day or one gym a day for several days in a row, you want to keep the barrel clean so to ease cleaning and ensure that you start every job off with a dust-free barrel. We take a standard Husky contractor bag, insert a three-quarter inch adapter into a matching receiver attached to the bulkhead fitting on the in, inside of the barrel. And then attach the handle. And with a screwdriver or some other implement without piercing the rest of the bag, perforate the bag at the valve, and then attach the handles. Clamp your handle to the wrong way. And at that point, you can fill it with sealer, and the sealer touches nothing except your contractor bag and the valve. Okay, I wanted to take a minute and do a close up on the components that are needed to build your own. Zender finish barrel. So the primary component is probably going to be this bulkhead fitting. A bulkhead fitting most commonly is thought of uh, in the boat industry going through the bulkhead but it's made to go through some kind of an object and be watertight. Your local plumbing store will have a bulkhead fitting. So what we've done is just used a little a nipple, put on a valve, an irrigation valve, and a small downspout. I am missing one component here uh, from Neil's, what he does with the bag, but he uses this little piece of pipe uh, through the bag to go into the bulkhead fitting to make the Zender finish barrel easy to clean up. And then, of course, you need the barrel with the wheel dollies on it. And, th and then there's, there's a, a, a small handle that we've put together with PVC. As you can see here, we've cut, made a little cut on the bottom of it so that it easily fits on the irrigation valve, allowing you to turn that on and off. Those are the components needed to build your own Zender finish barrel. This valve, and, and please take the camera and angle down at the valve itself. This valve can be easily manipulated, turned off, turned on, giving an absolutely consistent ribbon the entire length of the gym, just ahead of the guy or gal with the T-bar. That allows that person with consistent pressure on that T-bar to put an absolutely consistent coat of finish across that gymnasium. And this is what we're talking about right here. That Zender finish barrel puts down 
and a, a perfectly even ribbon the entire length of the gym, one end to the other. Here she comes, adding to the ribbon, ribbon, perfectly laying down the finish. Anybody can do this. Well, as well as mixing multiple two-part sealers so that we get consistent mixtures across. And lest I forget that, thank you, Neil. Right now, we're showing some Bona Super Sport water-based gymnasium floor finish. We also are uh, big supporters of basic coatings and their street shoe product, also a two-component finish. So if we had, say, a 10,000 square foot gym, our application rate is 500 square feet per gallon, so we would do the math and, and, and learn, learn that we're gonna need four pails to get across our gym. We would dump all four pails in, add water to the hardener, the recommended rate, and then taking a broom handle, mix all four of our hardeners into the four buckets of finish that we put into the finish barrel, okay? Now we have everything that we need ready to go. No possibility of mixing up four separate buckets and maybe getting an uneven sheen somewhere across that floor. Neil, what do we do when it's time to clean up? Well, provided that we did the math right, we should run out of finish towards the end of the gym and have very little left in the barrel. But there's always going to be some residual, so taking apart all the accessories on the barrel, we should find that our barrels fit on top of our standard finisher sealer buckets, and we always have extra. And you can pick up the bag and get 99% of all your leftover finish to drain to the valve. And then um, if it's oil-based, we usually use a paint thinner, a mineral spirit. If it's water, we can flush it with water and work this valve back and forth just to make sure that that ball valve in there doesn't lock up under the uh, adhesive properties of your sealer. And then you can just remove your bag and if you're careful about it, you don't get so much as a drop in your barrel, just resetting it for the next job. That is fantastic. Thank you for that demonstration, Neil. This has changed our business, and the results that we've got have been nothing short of outstanding. We can lay consistent coats of finish, gym after gym after gym after gym, sometimes hundreds of miles apart, day after day after day after day, because we have a finished barrel that is really a unique invention. This is a very, very simple invention, but it works very, very well. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Paul Nelson. I am the sales manager with Western Sport Floors, Wyoming Wood Floors. If there's anybody watching this and you'd like to reach out to us, our telephone number is 406-549-1900. We work throughout the Rocky Mountain West. If you're a young man or lady, or even a middle-aged man or lady that is driven and interested and would like a job and thinks you have what it takes to become a craftsman after the order of the builders of the Egyptian pyramids, the Great Wall of China, and the Roman Colosseums, you call me personally at 406-549-1900. Make it a great day.